Hi, I'm Erica Hosking, and today we're at the Perch Showroom with the executive chef, Kimberly. Hello, everyone. We are going to be going through some of our holiday menu this season with the Kalamazoo Pizza Oven. And that I know, is correct. Yeah, she has some uh, fun recipes up her sleeve that we're going to work through today. Yeah, so we have two recipes we're doing today. We're doing the traditional uh, Parker House rolls that everyone loves during the holidays. I love a fresh roll. I love fresh bread, period. Who it's doesn't? not good for me, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could eat these all day. And then we're also going to do um, asparagus uh, on the Kalamazoo uh, website. You can actually find this recipe on there, but it's um, asparagus wrapped in speck. But today we're using prosciutto because I couldn't find speck in the store. So you could use either one. We're going to go ahead and use a little bit of herb cheese on there. And we're just going to go ahead and do everything in the pizza oven. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Yes, please. Yeah. Let's get rolling. So I know today we're doing bread, but yeah, this is known for its pizza. You could do a pizza in I think like five minutes. It gets so hot in there. Uh, you could heat it up in about 30 minutes. You don't have to wait. Like other pizza ovens that are built mm -hmm. in take a, like a good four to five hours. Um, this one heats up in 30 minutes. So it's like plug in and go. Wow. Uh, you could either get a propane, a liquid propane, mm -hmm. or it could be connected to a gas line. So I think it's just one of those cool things to have. It's very entertaining. Everyone loves doing like their own pizzas, especially kids. Absolutely, and you have two heat sources with this as well. You I have a do. bottom heat source and a top heat source, and that nice dome feature gives that natural conduction that everybody's always trying so hard to mimic. Yeah, to accomplish, right? Yeah. So here we have the dough that I proofed for a good hour and a half. Um, Beautiful. So you guys yeah, can see that you want to put that to the side. So with this, what we're gonna do is roll it out and then we're gonna cut it into three pieces. And then we're gonna roll that out, put a little butter in between them and then fold them over and cut them and put on our cast iron tray that we're putting directly in there. Wonderful. So, yeah, oh, this dough is like so fluffy <laughs> and buttery, it's all the good stuff. Okay. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give it three slices. One, two, three. And then I have my butter melting in the pizza oven as well. Do you? Yeah, so we just melted oh, that in there beautiful. nice and melted. That came out Careful perfect. not to let it burn. So how, what do you think the temperature is right now on the pizza I oven? I would say, let's see, if I have my makeup <laughs> melting off, it's about, <laughs> it's about five, like a good 500 degrees in there. And that's a perfect temperature for pizza. All you really need is about 500 degrees to get like that really nice like or, or 600 for that in the Napolitan Nepal, uh, style. Yeah, absolutely. Nice blister it on top. Absolutely. So we're gonna I know, the dough out. rises so quickly with that and it doesn't burn. It just cooks thoroughly, usually about 30 seconds to a minute and a half, mm -hmm. quickly in, a, in, a, in an oven of that. Yeah, and I really like this one because it's counter. You could just sit it on your countertop. Um, it also comes in built in, so mm -hmm. if, if you want that as an option, you can. And a cart as well, so you can also do it on a cart. The great thing about having it on the countertop or on a cart is it's mobile, you can take it with you. Um, but the built in uh, version is really great for design integrity in the backyard when you're looking for a really clean, cohesive look. So either way, the performance is the same across all of them. Yeah. All right, so you want a good six by 12 piece. What we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and move that so you can see a little bit. Okay. We're going to take a brush. And I'll let you try the second ones. I'll do the first one, so make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to brush some butter because butter makes everything better. Of course. Okay. And then you're going to fold it lengthwise, so meaning like the hot dog fold. Okay. Mm -hmm. So kind of like want to make sure these match up a little bit. That way you're not having uneven pieces. You can stretch out your dough. And sometimes I'll take my roller, just make it a little wider. Oh. Okay. So then you're going to do cut it into triangles. And again, you can find this recipe on Kalamazoo.com. Mm -hmm. It has all the instructions in there. Doing triangles without a point. So it's basically like a little triangle like this, but without like a pointy little point. <laughs> Then can I have you spread some butter on there, if Absolutely. you don't mind, while I finish this one? Anything to do with butter, I'm here right. for it. And then once we have those nice and proofed, after 30 minutes, you're gonna have to do another proofing process before you bake it. We'll throw on some more butter on top and some flaky sea salt. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead. And you kind of want it to overlap each other a little bit. Okay. So that when it's done baking, they're all kind of like stuck together nice and cuddled up. <laughs> yeah. We have a wonderful layer 
and then it almost looks like like a bouquet. Yeah, like a little the bouquet way that of, of bread, which I wouldn't mind having. <laughs> so then you can just do it this way now. Just a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. This dough is just Super fabulous. smooth, right? Yeah. Sometimes I'll just give it a little stretch to even it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you like a perfect rectangle. And now you just take some butter. Careful, because this handle's a little hot. Okay. I'll hold that Thank for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So while that's proofing, we're gonna get our asparagus ready to go. And that was like really quick, super quick appetizer that you could do or even just a side. Yes. Literally takes like four minutes on each side and the prep time is minimal. <laughs> Which is my kind of talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> you do like a full meal. You always Absolutely. want to kind of have some of those easy ones on there. Okay, so we're just gonna layer it over. Mm -hmm. Kind of just make sure yeah. it's... And then you kind of want to like see how this one oh, just sure. kind of stretch it. That way it's make nice sure and they, even. It doesn't it's like have a little to be blanket. Perfect. We gotta yeah. tuck it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those look like a good size, so. Mm -hmm. Or you could do one little quick roll. There you go. Do the Chef Kimberly technique. Yeah. <laughs> so I like my rolls to be nice and fat. So I'm just gonna cut this piece off. Okay. So I'll start it for you so you can kind of see about and where follow we want. the pattern. Yeah, okay. there you go. Got it. Right. And with this pizza oven specifically, they also have a full accessory set that you can buy. Mm -hmm. So you can get the paddle, um, the and brush, a couple other I believe, pieces. the yeah. brush to brush it off. Absolutely. It gets so hot in here that you could just burn whatever falls on there. It becomes ash, it'll become mm -hmm. like a little brush you could clean it out with. Absolutely. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like, and then we're gonna go let, let that sit for 30 minutes, and it'll be nice and proof and ready to bake. So I'll set that aside. For our asparagus dish, super simple. We have some medium-sized asparagus, two lemons, this is some herb cheese we at the grocery store, my favorite, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have me at cheese, but herbs, you yeah. know. Prosciutto. Beautiful. All right, so what I'll have you start doing is we'll go ahead and set these kind of flat on your cutting board. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take some of this cheese and do some lemon zest. Oh, oh. sorry, I didn't have the cheese, sorry. <laughs> I just okay. expected it to just teleport to your side. You know, we're not there yet. We are in the 21st century. Yeah. But. So we're just doing zest of one lemon. All right, so you're laying those out. We'll do, let's see, I have about two per slice of prosciutto. Two, four, six. So we'll do about eight slices. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of mix it up. And it's good to let your cheese sit out for a little bit so it's nice and soft. Easier for you to spread on there. All right, so you have all eight on there. Yes, Perfect. we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our asparagus. Okay. We are going to do a little bit of olive oil. So I'd say just enough to coat it. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on there. Nice little fresh little ground generous. pepper. Oh, yeah. A little bit of salt. And if you mind, would you cut this for me, please? Mm -hmm. We're going to squeeze the lemon juice on it as well. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then if you can, mm -hmm. we'll take some of this cheese and try okay. to spread on here. As All right. <laughs> it's not going to be the easiest task, but I believe you can do it. All right. So right now I have a cast iron. You can call it like a, but they call it fajita pans or just like a flat cast iron pan. Okay. I have it in here heating up. Anytime you use a cast iron with your pizza oven, you want to make sure you leave it in there for at least 15 to 20 minutes. You want it to be nice and hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that feel generous? Yeah, that's good. Okay, wonderful. Especially this one right there. That one's That good. guy is like jam-packed with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna take two asparagus. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here towards the edge. I'm gonna do it on the side where it has the most cheese. Okay. And then you're just gonna kind of roll it. Give it a quick little roll. Kind of keep it together as mm -hmm. much as possible. We're gonna tore this uh, prosciutto just apart. <laughs> yeah. Just wrap it up, <gasps> just like that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and put it on here, and then once they're all wrapped up, I'll go and toss them in the pizza oven. Okay. And what a quick and easy appetizer. It is. This took Super no time easy. at all. Everything's pretty much pre-made for you. All you really do is zest a lemon and salt it. and pepper, little lemon juice. Okay. So these are nice and oiled. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of olive oil on top okay. for good measures. All right, 
Now we're just gonna go ahead and do it directly on there. You can hear that sizzle. Absolutely. It's literally gonna take about four minutes on each side. It's so mesmerizing to watch you put this on there and <laughs> see the immediate reaction. With oh yeah. All of the steam rising. You can hear the sizzling. And then we're just gonna leave that in there four minutes and then we're gonna give it a flip. Love it. Yeah. Looking good. All right, so it's been about four minutes. We're gonna go ahead and give them a flip. Ooh. Let's see, there's that one. Nice little browning on them. The cool thing about it, it's like it's searing it, but at the same time, it's cooking everything at once. So you're getting that sear, but then you're also getting that oven kind of roast to it, which I think is awesome. This is gonna make it cook faster. Look at that. And the color. Yeah. I mean, the asparagus, that bright green. Yeah, you know, all the nutrients bright. are locked in. I think this asparagus needs some pretty flowers. What do you think? I think so. I mean, it's a holiday menu. Yeah. We need to Let's make it fancy. Let's impress make it our look guests. Good. All right. So then we have our little oh, beautiful a couple of lemon wedges. I think we're doing good on the asparagus. I think it's it, time to take I them can, out. I mean, that's like I said, it's great because you can just gauge the food by watching it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is so ready to go. Oh yeah. So that will do. We'll just kind of lay them out like sure. this. Wow. And how easy was that? Like this, that is... I just, it blows my mind. And this is stuff that you could have in your fridge mm -hmm. that you just throw together. I know I always have like salami or prosciutto in my fridge. Sure. Asparagus is definitely a vegetable staple yeah. in my house. You have a leftover charcuterie board and yep. you have, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Look how beautiful that oh. looks. So our rolls have been proofing for 30 minutes, about 30 minutes. They're nice and fluffy. Look at oh, that. It's like a pillow. Right? You just want to lay on it and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do is add some more butter. Oh, you know, just can never have Always more butter. Enough. When in doubt, add more butter. Add more butter, yes. So I'm just taking this little brush, adding it on top of it. And that's going to give it that really nice, like, brown, golden color that you're looking for. Okay. And then what I'll have you do is I'll let you be salt bay today. And you're gonna take the salt over there and just sprinkle it on top. I'll be salt bay, but I'm not mm -hmm. gonna <laughs> do the bay move. Well, should I? No. Here we go. So this is just molded flaky seed salt. We're just gonna put it on top. Okay. So this is like kind of a sweet roll with that salt on top. Uh, it makes it just like perfect little combination. Just brings out all the flavor. Mm -hmm. Is that good? A little more? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Actually, you know what? I think you missed the spot. <laughs> That's, a, That's why we're the a chef and me. Yes. <laughs> it's like, no. Okay, so I have the flame on low in the back, and then um, the bottom one, the, the lower control is on low as well. Okay. Um, you can use an inter internal thermometer and make sure your oven's at about 350. You want to keep it at that temperature. So we're just going to go ahead and put it directly in there. And then we could go sit and wait for our rolls to be done. Perfect. <laughs> we'll be back like in 20, 25 minutes. Works for me. All right. Our rolls are pretty much done. They're nice and fluffy. Look at them, and nice and brown on top. Oh, oh my gosh. It looks and like the color is so even. Yes, look at that. Without a fan or anything in there, there is no fan in there. This is all from that natural convection. And again, we're going to go with the theme of butter. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little on top because, oh, wow. you know, give it that little glistening. Absolutely. And with that butter on the bottom of that cast iron, it's going to give it that nice golden brown bottom as well. These are like perfect little pull apart rolls. We're piping hot, but we'll go ahead and put them on the plate so everyone can kind of see. I want everyone to see that oh, golden brown. Beautiful. Look at that. that is a beautiful roll. It is a pillow of buttery, buttery goodness. goodness. <laughs> exactly. Well, Chef Kim, thank you so much for this of opportunity. Of course, it was my pleasure. I know I've learned a lot. I've learned so much about Kalamazoo in general. We knew we were going to be cooking with professional products, and now oh, yeah. we know we have professional grade results. So mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys are interested in these recipes specifically, you can visit the Kalamazoo website mm -hmm. or their YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see these products live in our showroom, you can make an appointment with one of our sales advisors by going to perch.com and uh, 
reaching out yeah either by phone or a web appointment yeah very so easy come visit us come visit me um you know i'm all over the place so <laughs> you might see our celebrity chef yeah. walking around <laughs> thank you for joining everyone bye thank you bye bye this is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.